So this thing was an attempt at recording a playthrough of the Super Metroid Item Randomizer. Things started off nicely, then they quickly went downhill. You'll see, just watch the whole thing. I'm sorry it's long, this is unusual for my for my channel, but hey. Long content, woo! And a complete failure in the process. Huzzah. So, another quick quick game here. Not to run like dry, which is much longer. I'm doing Super Metroid for Twist. As in I'm, this is a randomizer. If you remember a while back I showed the Super Metroid uh, door randomizer. This is similar. Except rather than randomizing the doors, it randomizes items. So this uh, first part of the game doesn't change because there's no items to pick up here. So I'm gonna meet you down in Blue Burn Star where we first pick up our, pick up, pick up, pick, uh, where we first pick up an item. Four seconds and I'm already screwed up my uh, words, good to know. Okay, here we go. So I'm assuming the first time will still be the morph ball because you pretty much always need the morph ball. Yep. But anything after this point could be completely different. Oh yeah, it gets rid of the fanfare and just makes just a little chicken sound. So let's see if we still get a, a missile. I'm not sure if I think the first missile may also not be uh, randomized. I'm not so sure. Yep, regular missiles. Thankfully, we won't have a repeat of my uh, outtake for the Super Metroid door randomizer where I load the wrong bloody wrong. R wrong bloody wrong. Wrong bloody wrong. First of all, what's uh, this bomb? This energy tank? Just an abyssal tank. Power bombs. This seems to be a running theme. A lot of randomizers I've seen, well, a lot of people I've seen play this get power bombs there. That seems to be very common. Well, that opens up two two more items down here. But the first we need to go back up to a uh, rift area to get because we need to flip an event flag down here. But the other item is right up here anyway, so Billy bonus. Oh, that's best parts. Open that door first, just so that I to could re-kill them all. No, it's not like that ever hard to kill. Hello, super missiles. So we could just enter Green Brute Star from the back. It seems like it's probably a bad idea. See, this randomizer has three difficulty settings: casual, speedrunner, and masochist. I am not a masochist, nor am I a speedrunner, so I just have to stick to casual. What have we got? Just some missiles. That was very underwhelming. Oh, well, let's climb the uh, escape shaft. Which is always fun. Okay, so now that we're back up in regular criteria, there is stuff we can get in up here. I think one of them straight through here. We do need to be careful with the power bombs, considering we only have a limited amount, but we can very well get stuck if we're not careful. So more super missiles, very nice. Some mob bombs would be useful, but I'm not going to look a gift horse in the mouse. A gift horse in the mouse, wow, I'm good at English. I'd rather not use another power if I can avoid it. There we go. Let's check the bomb trees there. No, maybe it'll actually have bombs. Nope, power bomb. Well, it had a form of bomb. It's not the one I was after. 
Let's have some fun. Let's nuke these guys. Health it is. Should we stop by the ship and refill on power bombs? Let's do it just to be safe. I don't know if arm popping works in the uh, NTSC version of this game. Also, I've managed to offset in the camera somehow. I thought it was always on center when you were saving the ship, but apparently not. I wonder why the space pirate's driving suddenly stops the rain. Like, that's very convenient timing. Okay, so what's where the first edge tank would normally be? Just a missile tank. Very underwhelming. Excuse me, some of easy ends coming through. Don't oh, give me, me a missile back, screw you. But yeah, I'm going to handle recordings a bit differently. I'm just going to do one long session and split it up, which might come back to bite me in the ass. Are you be watching this in parts? That doesn't matter. I can try a mark ball, though I'm never good at it. And I am limited by the amount of attempts by my power bomb count, unless the game's going to give me regular bombs in here. Come on, let's at least try the mark ball. Let's not just run through the door. I think I got that. Oh, the grapple beam. Sure, why not? I'm gonna do a shot at the mark ball. Because I don't know if the uh, speed boost can spawn behind there or not. Oh, I screwed that one up. Uh, we might be here for a while. Bollocks to it. I'll come back with the speed booster. I've done the mark ball once before, but I just do not know how to reliably pull it off. Which is why I'm not a speedrunner in this game, I can't pull off simple glitches. Yes, yes, hello. Now, where's that hole before? The charge beam? Don't mind if I do. Okay, it's right there. Well, that's going to help things out slightly. Is there an energy tank in here? Because an energy tank would be useful. No, it's a missile tank. This is going to be fun. Thankfully there is a stage down here so I can at least make sure, make sure I don't, I'm not completely screwed if I die. Like, I'm not sure if this randomizer has checks to make sure the game's beatable or not. Okay, that was me being stupid, I forgot the more bounces. Shit. Well, this will be interesting. At least shut the uh, beeping up. Get off me. Platforming in Super Metroid is always a bit awkward. Hello, Edicoons. Goodbye, Edicoons. Wow, the game is really giving me missiles. I don't want missiles, I want like super awesome cool main items. Not expansions. Though some more power bombs would be very much appreciated. 
or an energy tank. An energy tank would be appreciated too, because my health is absurdly low. I should really stop opening doors with uh, with super missiles, but whatever. Let's hope I can get some more power bombs soon because I'm gonna need them. Let's just grind for a bit. Unless there's maybe the regular bombs are in this room, who knows? There's only like three items I can get down here. Ooh, though I do need to be careful. But I need to use a power bomb to get to one. And I most likely need to use the power to get back out again. Well, that's that problem solved. Hello, Rios. So I'm pretty certain those are Rios. Outside of the Prime games, I'm not too good at memorizing the enemy names. Probably because the Prime games have all the logbook, logbook entries and stuff. Can I get back up there before the, uh, the bomb blocks respawn? Yes, I can. Uh, let's go fight Spore Spawn. Maybe something of value is behind him. We could go in there, but I need the wave beam to actually get the item in there, so I'll look to it. It's kind of annoying that I've just missed out on three items because of my inability to do the mob hole. Thankfully, the, the uh, sports one fight will go a bit quicker since I have super missiles. Yeah, I forgot I have the charge beam now. I should probably be using that. Well, I don't have an energy tank. It's still really annoying. Does the screw attack work on key owners? I can't remember. Yes, it does, but it doesn't help if you jump into the one right behind it. I don't know why I'm charging the beam or why I have super missiles. Let's use them. And let's do the, the trick. I'm just sitting in this corner so that the sports ball can't touch me. Let's fast forward. All right then, what's down? Pipe number one. Well, that's a very long shaft. Survey says... Missiles. That was not worth it. Huh? At least I know. What I really need is an energy tank right now, and I don't have any. Well, more power bombs are also nice, I guess. Showing how reckless I am in this game, I'm going to be taking a lot of damage. So some energy tanks would be very much appreciated. Just spam some misses. Hello, new bridge. Goodbye, new new bridge. Could go in there, but I 
there's a lot of spikes in that room, and again, no energy tanks. I think spikes do like 30 damage to you from the, the regular power suit. Not fun. Oh, I tried. Ah, oh, water and Metroid. Nobody likes it. It's just stiff and hard to control. I'd say this game's probably where the where water is at its worst. Come on. Thank you. Something good, something good, something good. <sighs> I do find that interesting that they did actually put something in for a few. If you if you try and do a five bomb drop without actually having the bombs, or if you have the bombs turned off. Because let's be honest, why would you turn off the bombs? There is no logical reason as to why you'd do that, but they put in behavior for the charging for that anyway. Okay, Norfell, let's see what you got. I definitely can't do you variolous. I need energy tanks to do you variolous. So either give me some energy tanks or give me the various suit. And I'm going to get the uh, map because I never remember the layout of Malfa. Malfa and Meridia are the places I never remember where the layout, where how how the place is structured. Because this place is fucking huge. I think this was actually the first game in the series I ever played. Like I watched an old LP of this game and I was like, oh, this game looks interesting. I'll try it out. So give me power bombs, damn it. Well, I was, I was hoping I'd get the, get the uh, Nova with that. Well, there's an energy tank at the very least. What's the hydro boots got to offer us? Super missiles. Well, at least crates gonna fall really easily. If I can wall jump, that'd be beautiful. Save the game. Another hack I played this game would be the uh, sideways rotation hack. There's a hack of this game where every room is rotating 90 degrees, so essentially you're walking on the walls the entire time. It sounds great, there's just one minor problem. There's one room which requires you to infinite bomb jump to get out of it, and I cannot bomb jump in this game to save my life. If it was other end, yeah, I could infinite bomb jump all day long. Except for the arbitrary height cap that game has on bomb jumping. But super? I'm terrible at it. Probably the only thing I've mastered in Super for Metroid is Roger Pink. Like, I'm a good jumper, at least I've got that on my side. I'll turn this area, I probably can't get it, but I can try. An energy tank, I want that. Okay, I can't get it. What a troll! Should we save? Yeah, let's just save, should we save? Mothball, thank you. I don't expect to die to cred, but hey, better safe than sorry. It's unfortunate we 
the spot on the key hunters, but a few missiles will take them down, or I could just skip them entirely. Can you break a block of a grapple beam? Yes, you can. That's interesting. Decided to, what, what possessed Nintendo to make an idol. Also, why does the palette become a lot. It looks a lot more cell shaded in this room. If you look at the door, it lost a lot of detail. I assume it's because of how large Crane is. Oh, I only got one missile in. That's kind of pathetic. Thus, we see I'm mad at Super Metroid. Craig, put your freaking hand down. Oh, yeah. I'm pretty certain I died to Craig when I first played the game. Oh, he's dead. That was very slowly, but hey. I'm a filthy casual, what can I say? That's my excuse. Very suit. Very suit. Missiles. For fuck's sake, game. Well, now what? I'm trying to think of what my options are now. I could enter Red Brin Stars. I could enter the Ice Beam area from the back. Because I'm not skilled enough to make the wall jump up there. But I can enter it from, from Criteria. Probably a massive waste of missiles, but hey, I really don't care. Game over. Okay, screw you. Shoot you, You're a sniper, Joe, now. Maybe we'll get something in this energy tank. Thanks, Spot. Super missiles, not bad. Again, I'd prefer it to be a major upgrade. This seems to be a bit of a bust. See, so yeah, let's go back up to Criteria and let's try and. Uh, the power bomb area of Red Burn Star from the back. So this is just going to be backtracking with nothing else found. I'm going to cut, and I'll meet you locked up there. Oh. Oh, that's a problem. I can't get back up here without the ice beam. So I think I technically could have used like the grapple beam to try and fling myself up, but I'm not skilled enough to do that. Hell no. Oh dear. Hmm. Well now what? I'm gonna have to try and do something in North Hill without the various suit. That's my only option at this point. Either that or something in Meridia. Oof, this is, a, this is a problem. How the hell am I going to do anything in Norfair or Meridia? Well, I can't get up to Red Brinstar, it's not... Well, the uh, Powerbomb area for Red Brinstar is not happening. I've got a few crit. So there's got to be something in the immediate vicinity of, Red, uh, of Norfair that I can get. But what? Let's go save quickly. Try also get back to full health, because we could make a run for the ice beam. And 
when I say run, I really do mean run. If I knew the green gate glitch, I could get whatever's down there. No, I don't I don't know how to pull it off. No wait, we can't go for the ice beam because we don't have the uh, speed booster. Hmm. Shows that I don't actually know this game as well as I thought I did. We're gonna have to go this way. Just try and book it for the uh I am this in the lava down here. But then we can't do that either, because we can't get up here. Because of that because we don't have the high jump. Am I stuck? I think I might be completely stuck at this point. Well that didn't take long. Hmm. I may have to look at the spoiler log to see where my next move would be. Is there anything I can do with the gravel beam? Yeah, when I generated the uh, ROM, I also generated a uh, log, which just misses anywhere. Yeah, I, could gen I generated a log, which tells me where everything's thing is and where it, and what it replaced. So I could look at that, but it'd still be pretty hard to turn the next move because I can't get out. I can't get out of uh, Brentstar at this point. I can't get towards the ice beam. I can't get over there without the uh, hijack boots, and I sure as fuck can't get through Meridia. Am I completely stuck? Something tells me I might be completely stuck. I guess that, that answers my uh, previous question of if there are checks. I guess not. So yeah, like, you could sort of enter Meridia from the back. But there's a freaking green gate in the way, I'm pretty certain. If you go from this entry, if you go, if you try to enter it this way, yeah, it's right there. Even though it's taking me to a one way map station. I can look in Meridia? I don't think there's anything I can do here, though. Yeah, I can't get up there without the hydrant boots. So somebody tells me I'm completely stuck unless I can get back up that shaft. But that gap's too big to wall jump up, I'm pretty certain. I can't think of some of them in this record, in this commentary, this stuff I'm saying is going to be completely removed. It's not going to be uploaded. <laughs> I'm just wasting time. Like, I guess let's try and get up here. Yeah, like how you cannot, you can't make that. That's not a long enough distance. Oh, that's too much of a distance, I should say. There's probably yeah, there isn't actually a way to make that. I'm stuck. There is nowhere else I can go at this point. Ugh. Well, there goes that out the window. Fuck it, I might upload the thing as a blooper anyway. Well, it won't be half an hour long blooper, but hey, fuck it, who cares?